Welcome back, folks. Fourth segment of the blade change process. This part is so critical. What you put in is what you get out, setting the blade. When I speak of setting the blade, I'm talking about pitch and I'm talking about height. When you set your pitch with the Zamboni blade, you're supposed to create 10 degree pitch and your heights, you want to create height where you're actually level with the bottom of the runners before you bring your blade up. So let's talk about using the blade gauge tool and actually setting up pitch. So 10 degree pitch, the decal on the left side of the inside of the conditioner, you can actually set your blade gauge tool on the back of the blade bar and then adjust your actual blade pitch with your hand crank, bringing your blade pitch down, going clockwise or going counterclockwise, bringing the blade pitch up. But you wanna have that blade gauge tool in line all the way up and down. That is critical. Second part is taking the blade gauge tool underneath, attaching it to the blade to create height. You want the actual blade to be level with the bottom of the runners. You don't want it to be above, you don't want it to be a below. If you were to leave, just so you folks know, if you are to leave your blade on both left and right side, level with the bottom of the runners, and you've created 10 degree pitch, the actual cut depth you'd be doing at that point in time, if you're on the ice doing a flood, would be 16th of an inch. Of course, that's way too much. That's very aggressive. So after you create a pitch and height, what do we tell you to do? Counterclockwise, bring the blade pitch up for four to five turns, depending on the width of the blade. And then you can go out and do part two in the ice, which next segment will cover off. Have a great day, folks.